a New Zealand couple, who had to sit next to a noisy and smelly bulldog during a 13-hour Singapore Airlines flight from Paris to Singapore earlier this year, have been offered compensation by the company for what they endured. Gill and Warren Press said in early September that they had paid for premium economy seats on the flight where they sat beside a passenger with an emotional support dog that disrupted their journey. Miss Press said that she heard this noise, a heavy snorting, when they boarded and asked a crew member if they could have different seats. However, when they were told that the only seats available were at the back rows in economy class. The couple retained their original seats, but transferred later on in the flight. Midway into their journey, the dog began to pass gas and also entered Mr. Press' legroom, getting under his feet. Since Mr. Press was only wearing shorts on the flight, he also got the dog's drool on his leg. The dog's owner was unable to keep the dog in the aisle as it needed to be free for the crew to push their trace through. The animal was snorting, he was breathing heavily and the back of the dog's legs was out into the aisle, so the flight attendant had to ask him, the owner, to move it forward so that he could get the trolley through. Miss Press added. After the flight, the couple complained to Singapore Airlines and requested a refund. At first, the carrier offered a 125 New Zealand dollars 100 Singapore dollars gift voucher from the Chris Shop website and then added in two 200 New Zealand dollars 162 Singapore dollars travel vouchers. Miss Press said, however, that this was unacceptable because she and her husband didn't receive the experience we paid for. She shared her experience with the media and it was published in a number of New Zealand and international sites. Now, Singapore Airlines is offering, as a gesture of goodwill, a reimbursement worth 982.50 New Zealand dollars 795 Singapore dollars each for the difference in seats from premium economy to economy for a total of 1 New Zealand dollar. 965 1590 Singapore dollars in addition to the vouchers they were already given. Miss Press has said that the money would be donated to Blind Low Vision NZ, a group that trains guide dogs. It wasn't about the money in the end. The fight was more about principles and normalizing things that really aren't normal and acceptable, she told New Zealand news site staff. Singapore Airlines endeavors to notify customers who may be seated next to an assistance dog prior to boarding the flight. We sincerely apologize that this did not occur in this case and will work with our airport teams to ensure that this lapse does not occur in future, as I had previously said. The carrier no longer lets emotional support dogs fly with their owners, but still honors prior bookings for customers and their dogs who handed in proper documentation.